What's up everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is just a little catch up on what's going on with Sony and Microsoft. Of course, E3 is right around the corner. We're going to be announcing our new time for Beastly Thoughts coming in the following week. We won't be doing it Sunday. We're going to do it, I believe, next Tuesday. Um, so we can be right there at E3. We can talk about the stuff that's happening uh, and do it live with you guys on the coming Tuesday. So, so stay tuned for that. I'll make an update video for you guys. Today we're going to talk about what Sony is doing at E3. Are they really worried? Do you think Sony's worried about Microsoft with the impending doom of the Xbox codename Scorpio? To me, uh, the Scorpio is going to be powerful, uh, and that's not even a question. But my wife asked me today when I got home from work. She said, "Are you buying it?" And I looked at her and I was like. I don't know and she was like that's weird I really don't I don't know um, if there's a reason to buy it now if Microsoft comes out and they, they say okay this thing is amazing and it really is amazing and they're like the games are just gonna be unbelievable and here's some great games coming to the Xbox platform that will only be available for the Scorpio or this is Xbox exclusive that you won't be able to play anywhere else and you know they still they show stuff like God of War or Days Gone or something that's intriguing to me it looks like okay now they're they're speaking my language this game looks like it's something that I need to play and it's only going to be on the Scorpio done deal as it sits right now I can really only think of maybe five or six Xbox brand titles that are noteworthy enough to me to say that they're really top tier entertainment it's you know every game isn't for every person Halo is not really my cup of tea it never has been Gears of War, I've never really gotten into them. I know they're good. I'm not saying they're not good games. I, I just was gravitating towards other things. I really love Ori and the Blind Forest, but you don't really need power for a game like that. Uh, I think that uh, State of Decay is awesome. I love that whole world. So I'd, lo I'd love to see State of Decay for the Scorpio. But, but other than those games and maybe some of the stuff that they've got coming, see if these, I really don't know what Xbox has to offer besides power. And so that's my thought. I don't know if Sony is going to go out and do what they normally do and just blitz the, flo the floor with games. Uh, you know, Sony does that. They go out there and they'll just do games from start to finish. They've done that for the last few E3s and it's worked out for them. It's, it's really garnered lots of excitement from the, the, the gaming audience. The funny thing is a lot of the games that they showed off still haven't been released and somehow they win every year and people aren't calling bullshit on E3s anymore. When, you, when, when are we going to say enough is enough? Show me Final Fantasy VII and Kingdom Hearts III. And they just announced that these games are like years away still. So how do you win E3 with theoretical games that may or may not even exist? Uh, Scalebound was at E3. Come on. You know, I think there should be rules to this game. But Sony is doing something that's pretty uh, interesting concerning their PlayStation 4 uh, right around the time of E3. They're going to be releasing a gold PlayStation 4 Slim at a discounted price with a bigger hard drive. It's going to be $249, and it's uh, to me, it's a great deal. If I didn't have like five PS4s, I'd be, I might just buy one and stick it on the wall or something. But to me, that's a, a good sign that Sony is pretty confident about E3. I, I think that they've probably got some bombshells waiting to explode at E3. I don't know if it's going to be PS5 per se, but I think that when it comes to games, they're going to show uh, Hellblade, they're going to show God of War, they're going to show Days Gone. Uh, possibly Kojima's new game, Death Stranding. I think they're really excited about that. And I think they got reason to be excited. They've been really doing a great job with their IPs lately. They've got Horizon Zero Dawn, Neo. These games have been just doing extremely well. And a lot of them have been PlayStation only exclusives. And so my thought is if Sony does the same thing at E3 this year and, and they show some really meaningful, awesome games, The Last of Us 2 maybe, uh, they'll probably end up walking away winning E3 again. But the news of this PS4 release is really exciting. I just wanted to give you guys all the details of this release and get you guys the date so you can know exactly when you can get this thing and for how long. Sony's releasing a limited edition PS4 for $249. The slimmed down PS4 is getting a new gold edition. Today, Sony announced a limited edition version of the console with a one terabyte storage hard drive and a gold color scheme. They'll probably look like 1987 rims. Uh, that will be available for $249. It's $50 cheaper than the normal model. The catch is that the console will only be available for a limited time. When I say limited, very limited. You got a small window to get this thing. You can snag one between June 9th and June 17th. So you got a total of eight days to grab it. Sony also says there will be additional discounts on software and accessories. So look for games and accessories. I know that they've got DualShock 4s for 40 bucks. There's a bevy of PlayStation exclusive titles. Neo's one of them you'll be able to get for $40 during this time period too. 
So keep your eyes open for that. But I'm curious in the comment section for you guys. Let me know what you think is going to happen to E3. Do you think that the Scorpio is just going to just knock everyone's socks off? Are you excited for it? I'll probably end up buying it at some point. I'm, I'll probably get it immediately if they get me excited at E3 and say these games are only going to be on Scorpio and they're going to be running 4K native, 60 frames per second, or close to 4K. I'm, I'm sure they're going to be using checkerboard and kind of like Sony is now anyway. But I want games that are going to excite me. And if Microsoft can pull that off, and, and pull some of Sony's audience over to the Xbox brand, I think it'd be good for gaming. I think it'd be good for everybody. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. E3 right around the corner, Beastly Thoughts Live, more than likely coming on the Tuesday after the shows begin. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to show your support for the channel, please visit my Patreon. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.